Star Wars Journey Through Space. When you hear this sound, turn the page. Star Wars Journey Through Space. Written by Ryder Windham. Come on a journey through space to the Star Wars galaxy. It is far, far away. In this galaxy, there are many stars and planets. Coruscant is the most important planet. It is covered by one enormous city. All the buildings in the city are gleaming skyscrapers. Jedi Knights. Many creatures live in the Star Wars galaxy. Coruscant is the home of powerful warriors called Jedi Knights. People and Gungans live on the planet Naboo. The people live in beautiful cities on the land. Young Padme Amidala was once queen of Naboo. The Gungans live in underwater cities. They can walk on land too, although some are a bit clumsy. Jar Jar Binks is a Gungan. Pod racing. Tatooine is famous for pod racing. In this dangerous sport, fast vehicles race each other th through the desert. The planet Tatooine is covered by a dusty desert. Two suns shine in the sky, so it is very hot. Tatooine is a meeting place. Space travelers visit the planet from all over the galaxy. Water flooded all of the land on the planet Camino, so the Caminoans built their city on strong metal poles that stick up above the water. Kaminoans are very tall with long, thin necks. They ride winged beasts to fly and swim around their watery planet. Geonosis is not a good place to be captured. Prisoners are forced to fight huge monsters in special arenas. Huge arenas. The arenas are made of rock. There are lots of seats inside. Scary beasts are brought from other planets to the arenas. The Geonosians look like insects and enjoy watching the fights. Kashik is a world of giant trees and shallow lakes. It is home to the Wookiees, including Chewbacca and Tarafal. Wookiees are tall and have lots of shaggy fur. They talk in grunts and roars. Good friends. Chewbacca is friends with a human called Han Solo. They fly together in a starship, the Millennium Falcon. The planet Utapau has lots of deep holes. The Utapans dig tunnels through the rocks to join the holes. There are other creatures on the planet. Creatures called Utai live in the holes in the ground. Enormous Varactyl wander the rocky land. They are good climbers. The Utai ride the Varactyl. The red planet of Mustafar is a very hot place. It is covered in fiery volcanoes. Hot melted rock, called lava, flows from the volcanoes. The sky is filled with black smoke that blocks out the sun. Fight on Mustafar. Two Jedi Knights, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, fought each other on Mustafar. Anakin had turned from good to evil. Obi-Wan won the fight. The space rock known as Polis Massa has a medical center. This is where space travelers can go if they are sick. The doctors are helped by special robots called droids. Birthplace. Padme Amidala came to Polis Massa to give birth. She had twins. The moon of Yavin 4 is covered in thick jungle. The ruins of very old buildings, called temples, rise above the trees. At one time, the soldiers who lived on Yavin 4 kept watch for enemy starships from the tops of the tallest temples. What's inside the temples? The temples were once used to keep starships. There were also rooms where people could eat and sleep. <laughs> Ice planet Hoth is so cold that people can freeze to death there. On Hoth, people ride around on large beasts called Tauntauns. 
Wampa ice creatures live in the ice caves. They hang the animals that they catch from the cave roof. One time, a wampa even captured a Jedi Knight. The planet Dagobah is covered in thick forests and swampy land. The air is steamy and it rains a lot. There are many deadly creatures and poisonous plants. The Jedi Master Yoda went to hide on Dagobah. He lived in a small tree house. Crash Landing Young pilot Luke Skywalker crashed his starship on Dagobah. Yoda found Luke and took him into his tiny house. Cloud City floats in the skies of the planet Bespin. Visitors come to enjoy its lively shops, restaurants, and hotels. Cloud cars fly around the city. They have room for two passengers. The forest moon of the planet Endor is the home of small furry creatures called Ewoks. They live in the trees and use simple tools and spears. At night, Ewoks stay in the villages that they build high up in the trees. We hope that you have enjoyed your trip to the Star Wars galaxy. Come back soon. The End.